So Canis sent their zero degree bag, their Alaska down zero degree bag to me to test out on this overnighter. There's quite a few features in here that I'm excited to test out. Uh, one of them being, and primarily being, this right here, which is gonna hold my climate sleeping pad to the sleeping bag. So sleeping pad holder, excited about that. Uh, it's snow starting to come down a little bit harder, so like the extra padding that they put in the foot of the sleeping bag. I really like the face fabric. Here's pretty durable to me. All the way down here on the main zipper, of course, YKK zippers, there's magnets, actually. So in, if I get a little bit hot tonight, uh, which I think is unlikely, um, I can unzip this and keep this closed with a little bit more ventilation. It also just helps with zipping this bag back up. On the side here, these side zippers, I can either, if I want more space, I can open this up um, and actually get a little bit more room in the shoulders. I'm probably gonna sleep with this zipped up tonight. A little bit more mummy style, just cause it's so cold. Uh, magnets here in the neckline, um, two adjustments, one for around the neck itself and then uh, one for the hood of the sleeping bag. The other thing I love is I'm gonna take off my down coat and put it in this pillow holder. So I don't typically backpack with a pillow, but I always have a down coat. So this will allow me to ball up the down coat, which I normally sleep on, um, but this will actually keep it in place and hopefully keep it more like a pillow. Um, those are some of the features I'm most excited to try out uh, with this down bag, 850 fill. Uh, so right up there with the most high end down bags that you can get. So we'll see how it goes tonight. All right, just finished my first night in the Canis Alaska Down Zero Degree Sleeping Bag. Uh, overall, really, really impressed with the fit of the bag. I know last night I went over some of its features. One of the things I neglected to mention was that it has zippered mesh pockets on the inside of the bag for gear storage or for I use it for drying out my socks. One of the things that I like about the bag is the contour and fit of the bag. It's good for large in the shoulder area um, with a bunch of extra down fill in the feet. So I actually slept in my underwear last night to see how warm this bag was. Lowe's last night got down to 15, 14 degrees. It's about 16 degrees right now. Um, I did not feel the need to wear socks in that temperature. Uh, there's a little bit of a weight penalty between the Canis Alaska Down and say the Stone Glacier Chilkoot zero degree bag of about a pound. Um, you can find some of that weight penalty there in the foot box where there's a bunch of additional padding down there. So feet stayed warm the whole night through. Uh, I did love that that pad holder kept my climate pad on my person the entire night. Uh, this is set up right on top of snow. If I were to roll off of that pad, I would be screwed. <laughs> it would be very, very cold. Um, that never happened. Even for, I sleep on my side oftentimes, uh, rolling over and sleeping on the side, it held that pad in place as well as held the pillow in place all night long. So very, very comfortable fit. I was able to articulate that hood and neck down to the point where just my little red nose was sticking out. <laughs> Overall, huge fan of the sleeping bag. The only feature I did not use was the expanders on the side, just cause I wanted that, that mummy fit and it kept me warm really throughout the night. Big fan of the bag, excited to continue to test this out in these kind of conditions.